welcome to a new series called with a game called State of Decay. I have played this game before. I have completed the main story. But that was mm, pretty long ago. And I saw it again and I thought, yeah, I really want to play this again. So let's just start in. Or jump in, I mean. Starting a new blah, blah, blah. yeah, sure. Holy shit, man. Holy shit. <coughs> so I... I know the basics of the story a little bit. Let me just help this guy. Yeah, there we go. Ah, and you got him. You okay? One of those psychos tried to bite me, but yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. <coughs> well, we can't just stay out here in the open, that's for damn sure. Ranger station? Ranger station. Maybe we can so find some help. Left there. button to sprint. What the hell, man? We're gone two weeks and what? Everybody takes a cannibalism? Excuse me. And yeah, they Oh yeah. Left bumper and Y. Hold up. Shit, these guys look messed up too. Oh. Yeah. Stay low and keep quiet. Maybe we can get past them without being spotted. Crouch down. Oh yeah, I have to hold it. Where are you? Oh, over there. Okay. So it's a little bit tricky holding B and at the same time turning. And I do remember whenever you get into a bush, you automatically go into crouching position. So that is really useful. Incoming! Ah, oh, goddamn. Oh yeah, teamwork. Mm, I have to get to the ranger station over here. Oh yeah. A was jumping over stuff. Let's see. And he got his head bashed in already. Sure. Man, can <coughs> anybody tell me what the hell is going on? What's going on is there's more of them up here than I expected. We need to sweep the rest of the cabins for survivors. But I've got injured people here I have to tend to. Okay, we'll see what we can do. We will? I appreciate it. There's a water tower out back that has a good view of the campgrounds. Might be worth your while to climb up there and have a look around first. We've got some supplies in the locker over there. Take what you need and stay safe out there. And as usual, there is a scouting tower in There's always some sc some sort of scouting towers in these games. Oh, wait. I forgot something. I have to get this. This, uh, yeah, sure. That's it. Uh, how did I do that one? Maybe later. Um, oh, yeah, I know it already. Okay, um, I want you to. Equip the four before bracket. Uh, it's out there. Run, 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 run. Outside. Looks like a good vantage point up there. And climb up the ladder. Yeah. Looks like looks like a good vantage point. Yeah, that's basically what the old man said, man. 
them up. And now I bashed it a little bit earlier, but I really like I'm the there. scouting system right now. Around. Or in this game, I mean. You actually have to look around, not only unlocking it, but you have to find everything. Which can be pretty annoying when you when you're missing one thing. So three campsites. Mm. A vehicle. And there are vehicles in the game, but I won't go over it until I've found one. Another camping site. And a fifth campsite. A cabin. Another cabin. There's a building we Another want to cabin. Out. And a ranger station. I think I've seen oh. enough for now. No, it's a public restroom. You hear that? Oh. Gunshot. Yeah. Get it's down. The only ones having a bad day. <laughs> I did. I dropped them all the way. <laughs> View your map. Okay, so survivors and supplies. Gunshots. Yep. And run. Towards the gunshots! Yay! Always a pleasure. First thing you do when you hear gunshots? Mm, investigate. Go towards it. <coughs> and there we go. He grabbed his neck. And bashed his fingers off. And this is what you can do with every side you find. You can search it, or you can hold left the left bumper to search faster, with the risk of making noise. A large backpack. Equip. So you have different kinds of backpacks, and you can be you can become burdened with um, resources. Oh, and this campsite is clear, so I only found one backpack. Can I go off safely here? Let's hope so. No, I couldn't. Damn it. Let's bash them all. And as you can see, I got fighting level 2. Defensive right now. Jump. Oh no 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 no! Wait wait wait! And I got a snack for vitality. Yeah I know. There we go. Powerhouse level two. I will be explaining go, everything okay. later I mean for now. Lost in the woods, attacked by psychopaths, and watching two of my best friends die. Yeah, I'm peachy. Sorry I asked. So, is it this bad everywhere? Man, I hope not. We got some survivors back at the ranger station <coughs> that seem to know what's going on. But we didn't have time for orientation. Well then, let's get the hell back there. Love the idea, but uh, we got kind of volunteered. To check a couple other places for survivors first. Just think of it as payback for the time that you volunteered us for the running of the bulls in Pamplona. Okay then. You want a tank point, or should I? Okay. Uh, I got some painkillers which I will down. And let's get into the character screen. Now. Right now, I'm playing as Marcus Campbell. And if you listen closely, I said right now. What I can do is look at everyone. And at the lower right of the screen, you see some stars. Now, Marcus has 
a little bit of fighting, a little bit of powerhouse. Um, those we just leveled up. Ed Jones has actually nothing. Thomas Ritter has cardio and wits. Research, which, which is really good. But for now, this doesn't matter at all. But what I can do, if you look at the middle, at the top middle, whenever I go over these, I get details or close. Whenever, go, whenever I go over her character, I can get to choose switch to. And now, I'm running around as her. He leveled up a new skill. Oh, nice. And this is really useful because characters can get tired from running around. Uh, so their stamina, their maximum stamina decreases I need a breather for now my character will heal heal up their stamina completely but over uh, over time when I fight or run not that sort of stuff all that sort of stuff I mean Sounds like I've got they will get a debuff of their max health or max health max stamina and this can also occur with max with the whoa well that one glitched in so there should be someone should be one over there oh this was the one I've already found so we have to run towards here and like I was saying whenever you get the debuff of less maximum stamina or max or less maximum health I'll quiet here. your character has to rest up in real time for it to to cure so they have to actually sleep found nothing hurry up for now okay right now I'm not really paying attention to what I'm finding everything is useful everything can be sold later on this will be a little bit more of weighing down the profit of getting it home <coughs> but I was telling about about the debuffs in real-time rest now what you can do is when your character gets tired you log off or log out or close the to get hell? Oh. I thought you said you had survivors hold up in here. They were fine just a minute ago. Well obviously not anymore. Guys, guys, come on. We gotta at least check the place. Somebody might have survived. Okay. He's gone. Yeah. Poor bastard. Well, let's see if he's got a wallet on him or something. What the hell, Ed? To check his ID for Christ's sake. <laughs> and he got bitten. There we go. Froze him in time and space. Was dead. I swear to God, <coughs> that guy, he was dead. How the hell does that happen? I don't know, man. It doesn't make sense. We can't stay here. Come on. Let's grab what we can and get moving. So, yeah. The first time I played it, I was like... Yeah. Zombies, and he is going to check at that guy. Of course. 
Oh, yeah, that's right. That scared me for a second. But after a while, um, doors close automatically. So. Let's get all these bullets. Firecrackers. Mm. Let's get this. Me and a couple guys from the unit came out there to do some deer. Now I s oh, switch to because this guy has a little bit more inventory space. But like I was saying, you can close the game and wait a few hours for them to rest. But yeah, if you're a gamer, you're not gonna do that. So what they did is give you wait. Oh, do I have to oh yeah, okay. Oh that is also a problem. You can't check your map without without the risk of getting attacked. It's a real time game. But as I was saying <laughs> I get distracted really fast. I don't know. I guess we just head to town and try to find you somebody. What they implemented in the game was a multi character system. So whenever let's say Marcus gets really tired, I can switch to her. So Marcus can rest up and she can take over. Now this isn't uh, foolproof and all your characters can get tired eventually but usually this takes about at least four hours if you if you have two characters and you don't use it very wisely So much for getting across here. Great, so we're stuck up here playing cannibal family picnic until somebody bothers to come looking for us? Maybe not. Let's head down the bank. Might be a place for us to cross on foot. Mm. Which side? Which side? Ah, here. But yeah, it usually takes oh, about four man. hours or something to tire out two characters from at least so far as I can remember let's kill these sure so yeah the character switching system is really nice also because This gives a little bit of an extra feel to to the zombie survival and scavenge system. And I think it's really cool because when you scavenge for two days straight, in real life you will get tired. And in this game you do too, so that's pretty cool that's a pretty cool feature they implemented. We're headed your way. You said you were a hold up in a church? What the hell's happening around here? You haven't heard? No cell reception <coughs> at the lake. Guess you could say we've been out of the loop. All we know is a bunch of crazy people tried to eat us. It started, what, 12, 13 days ago? At first it was just weird stories on the news. Random maulings. Not right now. <coughs> so, anyway. Random maulings, violent incidents at hospitals, black helicopters in the sky, just strange stuff. I guess they were trying to keep it quiet, but that didn't last too long. People figured it out pretty quick. People who die, they don't stay dead. They come back as one of those things. I told you that guy was dead. Seems like the only way to stop them for good is with a shot to the head. Anything else, they just keep coming. So you're saying those things are... Zombies? I don't know. Maybe it's some kind of messed up super virus. Maybe it's radiation from outer space. Or black magic. Or or the wrath of almighty frickin' God. Your guess is as good as mine. So, wait a minute. 
What's the government response to all this? Haven't they sent in the National Guard or something? The government? You don't get it. It's in total chaos. At first, they told us just to stay home, lock our doors, and wait for the all clear. Then the power died. No one ever sounded the all clear. While I was getting into the car, by the way, um, I got attacked by a zombie during the dialogue. And Marcus said, not now. So he interrupted the dialogue. And that's one of the features of this game that makes it so great. It's so fun to, to just... Or fun... It's so great to hear a dialogue, get attacked, and then they'll stop the dialogue for you. That's one of the features a lot of games had have to learn from this game. State of Decay has some answers for so, a lot of problems. You end up on this frequency? Just lucky, I guess. It was pretty chaotic up at the lake. You're not gonna tell her? I don't know yet. Dude, it's her dad! You want to confess that we killed her father and stole his radio before they patch you up? Let okay, me just... Okay, maybe, maybe we leave that part out. Yeah, I'm going the right way. So, whenever you're going to the map, they won't stop the, the audio log because it's like looking onto a map in real time. Everyone around you still moves. Let's just park this really nice over here. Get out. And then into or Lily, onto our first safe house. Did you invite these strangers? I'm good. You made it. That one doesn't look so good. Name's Ed. Pleased to meet you. Come with me, son. We'll see to those. God guys. damn it! We got enough trouble without bringing in another freeloader to use up all our medicine. Real nice, Alan. I offered them shelter. I'm letting them in. Us freeloaders have to stick together. Girl's got the common sense God gave a tree stump. You're worse than your, your brother. brother. Come on, I'll give you the nickel tour. Ha! <laughs> Take that one, you grumpy old man. Oh. <laughs> I thought his last name actually began with Grump. But it was Gunderson. So, meet I spend most of my time here. The church. Using the radio to coordinate everyone. Let's bash in. I'll just slowly follow that ass. Next up's the kitchen. Oh, sorry. Sam's our unofficial in-house chef, but... Well, there's only so much anybody can do with canned soup and pork rinds. Seriously, though. Rule number one, all the food stays in here and it stays sealed. You wouldn't believe how fast rats get into things otherwise. We learned that one the hard way. Sleeping quarters? Uh, hope you don't mind sharing. We're pretty tight on space here. Alan's been saying we should move to someplace bigger, but my dad's a carpenter, and he says we could build like a dorm room or something to get more space. How many people do you have here? I think you've met just about everybody, except maybe my brother and my dad. They're out scouting for supplies, I think. I haven't heard from them in a while. Rest easy, son. How do you feel? Somebody took a weed whack in my fucking neck. We may have something here for the pain. I'm more concerned about this fever. Could be a sign of infection. We'll need to get Dr. Hansen out of here. I'll see if I can get him on the radio. Thanks, I, uh, I appreciate the hospitality. Do not forget to entertain strangers, for by so doing, some have unwittingly entertained angels. How about that? I might be an angel. <laughs> Hold. Wait, no. Ah, oh, wrong button. Right trigger. Good stuff, man. 
I want to cheer on Lily. Lily, Lily, Lily. Good stuff, man. She's not a man. Nice. Nice ass. Look, I didn't want to say this in front of your friends, but fever is a bad sign, <laughs> especially after a bite. Pastor Will's going to try and get Doc Hansen to come down and take a look at him, but if he doesn't get some antibiotics, he's probably not going to make it. If it comes to that. I promise Alan will take care of him. Bullet to the brain before he turns. It's for the best. Jesus, Lily. He's not a rabid dog. Don't you get it? More of us didn't make it than did. We can't be soft-hearted about this. Not anymore. We need medicine here anyway. You can't be sick. You understand? No one can be sick. So that's it, huh? Nice to meet you. Would you prefer to be shot in the face or kicked out on your asses? No, it... Okay, look. We're barely hanging on here as it is. Medicine was some of the first stuff to run out. We don't have any to spare for your friend. I'm sorry. That's just the way it is. What if I find some more? Will that help pay our rent? <sighs> yeah. Okay, sure. If you can find a place to get more medicine, I'll make sure your friend has a place to stay. His name is Ed. I know. If you need to resupply before you head out, check the locker. Nobody minds if you're getting shit done and you need extra stuff. Just don't take shit you haven't earned. And this is where influence comes into play. I'm here. I'm confused. There's a cell tower behind the swine and bovine. From up there, you should be able to get a good look at the town. Maybe you'll spot some place to find medicine. Thank you. Just hurry, okay? I'm not sure how long I can rein Alan in. So yeah, we got our first safe house. Looks pretty nice. A church. We got a doctor in here. We got food. He got bitten. And we got two cars outside. So yeah this this will be episode one I hope you liked the video but can I stand on top of this no I can't anyway if you liked it please leave a like a comment please share favorite or subscribe and I will see you guys in the next episode bye